JavaScript. String trimming. The mushroom emoji has spaces to the right and to the left of it. There are no spaces around the strawberry emoji. Let's combine them like this. And print it on the screen. We can remove the spaces around mushroom using trim method. If we want to remove only the spaces at the end of a string, we can use the trim end method. Alternatively, we can also use the trim right method. They both perform the same task. If we want to remove the space at the beginning of the string, we can use the trim left or trim start methods. JavaScript event listeners. Let's add a button with the ID, test, and toggle colors written inside. We can access HTML element IDs like global variables from within JavaScript code. We have added an event listener. When the mouse hovers over the button, the set dark function will be called. Let's add another listener. We can add multiple listeners to one element. When the mouse moves out away from the button, the set light function will be called. Now, let's add our set dark and set light functions. When the set dark function is called, the background color of the document will be black. The text color of the button will be purple. When the set light function is called, the background color of the document will be white. The text color of the button will be black. Let's try the code we have written and see what happens. When I hover the mouse over the button, the set dark function runs. When I move out the mouse, the set light function runs. Changing HTML content. Let's add a span element that contains the text click to change. We will select all elements with the tag name span and store them in the SPN variable. When the first span element is clicked, its content will change to completed. Using query selector, we can write it like this. Query selector will select only the first span element. Let's give it a try. Yes, it works nicely. If we want to use HTML tags during the change, we should use inner HTML. Inner text handles plain text, while inner HTML manages HTML content, including tags. Let's try it again. JavaScript. Static property in a class. Let's add a class named fruit and a static property named count. The count property belongs to the class itself rather than to instances of the class. Let's print the value of this property to the screen. The constructor is a special method called when generating class instances. Each object generated using this class will increment the fruit count value by one. Let's generate new objects and try it out. We added the apple object and the fruit count became one. Let's add another object. With each object addition, the constructor function runs, increasing the fruit count by one. Static properties belong to the class, not to newly generated objects.